everyone this is our instructor Asma Mushtaq from the W Vibes and in today's lecture you will learn about the operation of the SR latch. Latches or the flip flops are the devices or the elements that are used as a memory element in the digital circuits and uh, we can see there are different applications of the latches that I will uh, discuss later on once I will cover these different types of the latches or the flip flops. So starting with the SR latch where S and R stands for the set or the reset input we can see there are two approaches for designing the SR latch one is to use the NOR gate or the other is to use the NAND gate fine so uh, for understanding the operation of the SR latch we will have two inputs set and reset and Correspondingly, there will be two outputs Q and Q bar. Fine. By the set, we mean when S is equal to 1 and R is equal to 0, we will have the output Q in this set state and Q bar in the 0 state. Why? Because both outputs are the complement of each other similarly when you will make s is equal to 0 and r is equal to 1 the sr latch will be in the reset state making output q is equal to 0 and q bar is equal to 1 so first stage is the set stage second stage is the reset stage and there is the third stage defined for the sr latch that is usually called the retaining state this retaining stage for the sr latch designed using nor gate is when both s and r are equal to zero so the latch will retain its previous value so q of t plus 1 will be actually equal to q of t similarly q bar of t plus 1 will be equal to q bar of t so whatever the value of the output was previously will be retained when you will set s and r both equal to 0 okay there is an other stage that is defined for the s and r equal to 1 this stage is actually called the forbidden state and it is also avoided and why is it so because it sends our sr latch into the metastable state where the output both output are not produced as the complement of each other so while defining the operation I will show you how this stage is avoided. So starting with the operation when we set S is equal to 1 and R is equal to 0. Okay. While setting S is equal to 1, our output should be in the set state. So let's see how it works. When you make S is equal to 1, then what happens? If any of the input of the NOR gate is set equal to 1, its output, output must be equal to 0, no matter whatever the other input is. So whenever any input of the NOR gate is equal to 1, the output will be equal to 0. Hence, this 0 is fed back to the first NOR gate. And when both inputs of the NOR gate are equal to 0, output Q will be equal to 1. In this way, the output is set. Fine. And Q bar is produced as the complement of it, which is equal to 0. Alright. Since we cannot directly make R is equal to 1, why? Because this is unavoidable. Sorry, this is actually the forbidden state that's why before making r equal to 1 we will have to switch s is equal to 0 so in this scenario r is again equal to 0 and s is being equal to 0 let's see 
what happens in this case when you make s is equal to 0 the previously value set that are q is equal to 1 and q bar is equal to 0 so when you have just switched this state of this uh, of the no of the input of this nor gate making s is equal to 0 1 is being fed over here so 1 0 nor will produce output equal to 0 this 0 will be fed back on the upper nor gate and 0 nor 0 will produce equal to 1 so basically it is retaining its previous value fine if we draw the table for this we can make the table like s and r and q and q bar so when i said s is equal to 1 r is equal to 0 q output was equal to 1 and q complement 0 similarly while making them 0 0 they retain their previous state now we have switched s is equal to 0 and let's now reset this latch by making r is equal to 1 so when i will change r is equal to 1 and now s is equal to 0 what will happen since any input of the NOR gate is equal to 1 will make its output equal to 0. So this will make Q is equal to 0 and this Q is being fed in the lower NOR gate making both inputs equal to 0 and hence Q bar produced will be equal to 1 in this scenario. So when we have made s is equal to 0, r is equal to 1, we got r is equal to 0, q is equal to 0 and q bar is equal to 1. Now again, what we will do, we will change the status of the inputs. And let's see, we have actually changed the combination 0, 1 to 0, 0. So this state should retain its previous state. Now what happens over here, R is going to change its value from 1 to 0 while S remains as it is. Since this is equal to 0 while this output is equal to 1, these are the previously set values. So when this value will be fed over here, so 1, 0, nor will produce output is equal to 0 and this 0 and 0 will produce output is equal to 1 again. So in this way they will retain their value in this way the sr latch using the nor gate works now let's see what happens when we apply both inputs equal to one when you make both inputs equal to one then the output of both nor gates try to switch to zero because this is the property of the nor gate any input making 1 will force it output to be equal to 0 and you can see the outputs produced at that time are not the complement of each other that's why this stage is actually or this combination of the input is avoided in the sr latch okay now quickly have a review of the sr latch using the nand gate in the next lecture